fine. Um, Adamo. Yeah. Oh, one. Ah, that be okay. In fact, I just want to ask you this. Your relationship with Jude. I hope it's heading to somewhere. Somewhere like where, Papa? Um, but no, it's not something to get you irritated. It's just that, as we all know, this boy has lavished a lot of money on all of us. And I think it is just fair that he reaps the fruit of his labor. And what is that, the fruit of his labor? Adam what is it? Adam, my hey, Mama, 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 calm down! Hey! hey. What your father is saying is that for a boy to train a girl in the university from the beginning to the end, upon that, there's the girl family as his own. That boy is certainly worthy of being a son in law. Mm. Mm. Mama, did he complain to you people that somebody is stopping him from being son in law? Mm. Did he? Mm. Then let everybody respect himself or herself, please. I wish you should be annoyed every day. Look at how beautiful she is. Mama, are you not seeing How is your queen? Very near. Something to this. Okay, if, if I take out 1,500 for my transport, how much will be left for Mama's treatment? And attachment. Attachment? Yeah. 700 naira. But attach I cannot get home in time now. Eh? You're a very stupid boy. Take it. I say I don't have a game. Go. Don't follow me up. Brother, please now. Eh? Don't follow me. Brother, please. Brother, please.
This night. Hmm? Yes, Later, I will give you 20,000 naira. You can use 4,000 naira for yourself. Yes, sir. And give the rest to your father yes, sir. for your mother's treatment. Yes, sir. Hmm? But make sure you are back here on Sunday evening, latest, so that you can open shop on Monday. Yes, sir. Is that clear? Yes, sir. All right. God bless you, sir. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
But when are you coming back? No, I guess I should come back on Sunday evening. You know, you know, Jude, I'll miss you. Hmm? I'll miss you. Then you are the only baby. Hmm? That's the dog on the phone. So I'll take this. Thank you very much. Thank you, but Jude, you see... Just manage it until I return on Sunday. Yes, I know. Thank you. But there's this handout they told us to pay for before we are allowed to take our quiz tomorrow morning. Hangout? Yes. Okay, how much is the hangout? 3,000 Naira. And my toilet is up, you know. Please, please, Jude, if you anything, anything, I'll be fine. Just wanted to come to my house. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Where is your mom? Mama is in the hospital. Which hospital? Uh, Dr. Kafo's hospital. Oh, right, my bag. Right. Now let's go. Jude, 8,500 naira. This is rather too small, Jude. No, I can't take it. Please. Uh, for now, I does not have anything more than this. Jude, you have to do better than this. Already, we have administered drugs and treatment worth 15,000 naira. Even up to a balance of 7,000. And we still have to administer more. Please, just help us. Already, I have heard. I agreed to commence treatment without deposit. And you see, we are doing this thing purely on maternal grounds and compassionate. We don't run a charitable organization here, Jude. You know this. I know. Hmm? Okay, Doctor. Uh, as soon as I return to the city, I will send all the other money. Please. Are you sure? Sure. Well, I will give you this benefit of doubt. But if by Friday morning you refuse to complete this amount, I will stop for the treatment. Trust me, Doctor. You understand? I will never disappoint you. Trust you? Yes. Hmm. If you disappoint me, Jude, Disappoint your mother. No problem. Get out. No problem, doctor. Thank you very much. God bless you. Okay. Papa. Uh, so let it be as we discussed. All right, my son. Read chief for me. And tell him I am grateful. Okay. My friend. Read your book. I mean, I will. Read your book. I will. Good. What about the money I told you about? Which money again? For my SSC registration. And the principal said the closing date is next week. How many exams are you taking? It's only one. I have not taken any before. Okay, okay. I'll see what I can do. Bye-bye. 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 Soul. Is it because I'm writing your assignment for you? Can't you sit down and concentrate on your studies for once? Ain't you ashamed? Look at who he's talking. Oh my god. Just hear yourself out. Oh, if not for that old damn boy you are going out with, is it that boy that is fooling your head? At least I'm proud of you. I'm proud to have him as my boyfriend that's bustling around the campus, circling everyone that crosses your way. Just hear yourself out, you judge rat. I don't blame you. If not for that boy that made way for you in this campus, would you have survived? Would you have been talking with Easy. girls like us are talking? Easy, hear me out. Is it not by the grace of this your useless one? Is it not by the grace of this your useless thing that you carry about the whole campus, giving you to sugar daddies that is training you on the campus? Tell me, student by day and shower by night. At least I train myself. 
I don't use jars to collect money from that. I need to go. Where is my mama? He's talking. You that use just to snap to suck money from that little boy. One day that jazz will finish. He took clear from his eyes, and I will know what you will do. What were you more? Everything is okay. Uh, that's true. Is he not yet back from the village? He's back. He came back two days ago. And how did he say his mother is fairy? Well, he said she's fine. Um, Adamo. with Jude. I hope he's heading to somewhere. Somewhere like where, Papa? Um, but no, it's not something to get you irritated. It's just that, as we all know, this boy has lavished a lot of money on all of us. And I think it is just fair that he reaps the fruit of his labor. And what is that, the fruit of his labor? Adam what is this? Adam, my hey, my 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 down! Hey! hey. What your father is saying is that for a boy to train a girl in the university from the beginning to the end, upon that, there is the girl family as his own. That boy is certainly worthy of being a son in law. Mm. Mm. Mama, did he complain to you people that somebody is stopping him from being son in law? Mm. Did he? Mm. Then let everybody respect himself or herself, please. I don't care. I wish you should be annoyed every day. Look at how beautiful she is. <laughs> Mama, are you not seeing it? How is your queen? Very near. Why has Brother Jude not kept his promise? It is almost one week after he left. <laughs> and said he was going to send some money. And the day after tomorrow is the closing date of the registration. Look at Mama. Mama, 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 please, Mama, 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 please, Mama, 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 please, Mama, Doctor, Doctor, Mama, Mama, please, Doctor, Mama, Doctor, Mama, Doctor, 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 please. My, my mother, doctor, my mother, my mother. Your mother did what? My mother is dying. Look, boy, there is nothing I can do for your mother. Already, you people are hugely indebted to this hospital. And I made this note to your brother that unless these areas are cleared, that's the only way I can come in. Do you hear me? Doctor, please. Doctor, please. My, my mother is coughing and shaking. This is beyond me. Doctor, please. There's nothing I can do. Doctor, please. Doctor, please. Doctor, please. Doctor, please. Doctor, please. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> <laughs> 
Come to that, isn't it? But here now, if I go to another person farm to go and harvest, ah. maybe we'll be gone our chief. Ah. What do you mean? So what about the money you promised me for my father's survival? Is that why you have been behaving negative, negative? Why won't I? My father has been off my neck ever since then that we promised him a survival party. But that is a small thing now. to the village to see your sick mother. Did you promise them that you will send them money when you come back to Lagos? Is there not a human being that is standing there? I do, sir. Well, did you send the money? No, sir. Why? Huh? Now, did you tell me that more money was needed for your mother's treatment when you came back? You are a good, complete good. I'm off here. Well, Jude, <coughs> because of your carelessness and your irresponsibility, your mother is dead. Yes. No, sir. Yes. Hey. She died this morning. Hey. You. Hey. Okay. Okay. Hey. My, my mom. No, sir. No, sir. My mother cannot die like that. You're shedding tears. Mm. If you had cared this much, your mother would not have died. You killed her if you don't know. Get out of this place. Get out of this place. Okay. Out, out! But I don't like the world. Girl, 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 girl is doing things. I don't like it. It's too bad. It's too bad. What has happened has happened. I mean, crime will not bring her back to life. No, no, no. Tears can never solve this problem. Brother, it will harm you the more. Yeah? You just comport yourself, yeah, man, and take heart with you for you. My mama. My mama. It's okay. I will not see my mother again in this world. My mama. With you. It's okay. We, we are feeling the same thing, for sure, but everybody is prone to death. You have to be a man. Man. So, This is 20,000 
I want you to use it to restart your petty trading. Hmm? It's for you. Take it. Adama. In your companion. It's for you, Mama. All this for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Eh? Thank you. My God will continue to bless you. Amen. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Adam. I know this is not your school fees. Oh, no, no, Mama. Come on. You gave it to me for Papa's survival party. But I thought it's better off for you to resume your petty trading with it. Papa's survival what? Little Nagonya guy. <laughs> but survive again. Hey. It's okay. God continue to bless you. Amen. I bless that your truth too. Amen. I'm ready. <coughs> Jude. Papa. Now that you go back to the city, think home. Yes, sir. Please. Think home. Don't stay a month without seeing us or sending message across. You see, your mother is no more. Yes, Papa, I know. I don't need anybody to tell me that. But the thing is that, from now, I'll be returning home as soon as regular. Uh, my brother, I still hope to join my base in taking the forthcoming school certificate examination. So I would like you to send me some money. Yes, yes, that is very important. Tell Chief Ome, your master, to help my father register the exam. By the grace of God, before next week run out, I will send you money. The only thing is, read your book. I will. Let your book be your friend. I will. That's all. I will. Yes? I will. Okay. Uh, uh, Papa, another thing. Let uh, this thing that happen, Mama's death, not be something that you think about too much. Eh? God knows why Mama died. Eh? You see, the thought must be there. I know. That I will try to adjust. Okay. You may not know me, or do you know me? My name is Ima Mantilas. I knew you might have heard about me. Hey, okay, ma. <laughs> yes, yes, Ima Mantilas. Uh, I've heard your name before. I served at Chifonwe and I was set two years before you came. That is, that's right, that's right, that's right. Somebody that knows you very well, a home I will not disclose to you, begged me to help him talk. I hear that you go by the name Young Nenya. Yeah, dear man, that is just a guy name. Mm -hmm. eh? It don't mean anything. But that is where you are wrong. It means everything. You see, it is the big name that kills the small dog. Jude, I know that as an apprentice on that chip you must be making serious money on the side. Okay, man. <laughs> <laughs> but that is not the question there. The question is, what do you do with the money? Are you investing the money? You know why I am saying all this? I am saying all this because I know that you do not know that life is not easy. You see, this life is not what it appears to be. I also heard that you are training a girl in the university. Oh, yeah, man. You do an apprentice. Training a woman in the university. Okay, ma. <laughs> no, no. There is actually nothing wrong in training a girl in the university. But you must be absolutely sure that that girl is your wife or your wife to be. <laughs> there is no doubt. He will be my wife. Good, good. I like that answer. But let me tell you something about putting your money on a woman. You see, Jude, putting your money on a woman 
or spending your money investing on a woman is like putting your money on a private car. It gives you pleasure. It boosts your ego. You cruise around town. <laughs> you enjoy yourself. <laughs> but it saps you emotionally, physically, mentally, and financially. It does not give you anything in return except what you assume to be comfort. Jude, you know why I am saying all this? You are an evil man. Use your head. Use your head, Jude. You are an evil man. Thank you very much. Thank you. I like the advice. Eh? And uh, I accept it. It's like advice from a senior brother to an elder brother. Don't worry, don't worry. I will respect the advice. Thank you very much. Hey, it's somebody who knows somebody. This Ima is a deceiver. If he had the chance, he would want to snatch Adama from me and even spend million on her. Sadist. Adamwa is my wife, and I have not regret any more amount I spend on her, period. You must go to her with your certain advice. Nonsense. Jude, why have you refused to ask me in? Or didn't you hear me knocking? Didn't you hear me knocking? I didn't add you, but you has your own key now. Why didn't you open? Is that what you're telling me? This is what you're telling me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know there's no way I can add you and not open. How, how is school? Uh, what about that? Uh, when is it taking place? That. Uh, uh, convocation. 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 Yes. Convocation. When is it taking place? If I don't hear, you see, you see, honey, I need forty thousand naira to prepare for it, and another ten thousand naira to close in the desk in school. I can give you thirty thousand now. You know, I just come back from my mother's wedding. So I doesn't have all the money. Sweetheart. You see, I need the money. But do you want me to stop schooling just because your mother died? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then honey, please, I'm going Okay. I need it to clear some desk you see. I'm owing exams and records tonight to your anything like the problem. <laughs> I was thinking about you in the village. Uh, you know, you know me now. Oh, can I stop it? Please, I'm talking about the money here. I'm not talking about one man, one woman. I like this your head. Thank you. You're fine. Mm -hmm. This is your banana is coming out. Oh, Jude. Are you gonna bomb baby? Oh please stop talking about baby baby all the time. Huh? Not now. Not now. Papa, I don't understand brother Jude anymore. I don't. Is it not same Jude who caused the death of my wife because of this same promise and fair attitude? Afam, tell me, how many months have passed since he said he will send your exam fees. How long? Papa, I don't know why Brother Judy is treating me this way. How can I stop school just because of 1,500 naira? Jay! Papa, can this world be this wicked? Eh? Hey, God. This life. Papa. Clean your tears. Fichia nyagengwam. Umuri hanya for one me. It is not the end of life. I will have mortgaged any of our lands. 
assuming there is any left. But your mother's sickness and death, as I found all. Papa, I must think here, sir. I must take it. Even if it means me doing a minor jobs, I will do it. Destiny can be delayed, not denied. I must take care, sir. All right. Let us go and meet Achilev for loan. If he insists, I will sell all the remaining land near the old village square. To hell with Jude. Let Jude not allow me to disown him. As his uncle, I invited you here specially to witness the settling of your nephew, Jude. And both of you too. And my wife, you are all witness that I will settle him today. So I am going to settle uh, Jude with uh, the sum of 500,000 pounds. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Uh, love. Thank you, sir. Uh, Jude. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. The only thank you that I want from you is that you be a good representative of my good name. Hmm? Yes, sir. 500,000 is not 5,000. It is half a million naira. I know, sir. Yes, sir. Your senior, Ima, is not here now. I settled him with 250,000 and he's doing well. I, I did not get even a cover from anybody, not from a man and not from a woman. But life is the way you make it. It's how you prepare your bed so you lie on it. If you can pound well, you pound inside the mortar. If you do not pound well, you pound on the ground. It will be well with you. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, Four fifty thousand. Okay. Uh, Six fifty thousand minus four fifty. That's two hundred thousand. Hey, what can two hundred thousand put in a shop? To be a man is not easy. Hey, and if I have not spent all that money. Madam and her family. For the five years I pay for her in school, I have spent nothing less than two million naira. Anyway, it's my investment. After all, she will be my wife. Hey, two hundred thousand. What will you put in the shop? Thank God I I keep this place since I was apprentice. So if not, how will I manage? service. Uh, no, no. <laughs> but she wasn't told me. Huh? 
Oga. Very sorry. You know? Very sorry. She left in a hurry. She didn't even know she was going to go. She came back one night with the story. Early in the next morning, she was gone. She said, as soon as she finishes her registration, she will come home. She didn't even know the future. Just a few. Why? Uh, but that's not reasonable. I will go. But when she come back, tell her I come. Okay, I will. No, uh, I have not brought up today. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Okay, ma. My shop? Your shop? Yes, who are you? I paid for you yesterday. You paid for what? Who did you pay to? Because I'm the landlord and I don't deal with agents. I paid to agent yesterday. Oh, my friend, listen to me. I said I don't deal with agents and I give out my properties myself. Look at this. I paid yesterday. 450,000 naira. I paid to agents. Gentlemen, if you know the person you give your money, better go and collect it back. Because, like I said, I don't deal with any agents. Neither did I order any agent to rent out my shop for me. Hey, but the boy, okay, what are you talking? Get out from that place. Look, I paid for this place yesterday. I said you should get out, my friend. Hey. Hey. I found that it's down low. Somebody was there inside. Hey, agent. I opened the shop yesterday now. last night and I'm rushing off today again back to work. I hope you are well and your business moving. Once again I wish to thank you for your wonderful help to me during my university days. May God reward you abundantly. I wish to let you know that I may not be returning immediately after my good service and I intend to take up the offer. That means I'll be staying back in Berlin to start work after my new service. I do not want to be seen to have wasted your time. So, if you see any other girl that <laughs> tickles your fancy, you may go ahead and marry me. As my career is the important thing in my life right now, 
May Almighty God reward and bless you in Jesus' name. Bye. last month. It was this year room that he chose because of his uh, strategic uh, position. So I, I'm really sorry about this. Okay, I'm really sorry about this. Uh, I don't really understand your plan, but if it's uh, increasement, I can... No, 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 no. Uh, I can't do such a thing. I'm a, Christ I'm a gentleman. You're supposed to know me by now. I'm not like those other landlords that uh, use uh, quick notice as an excuse to increase their uh, house rent. You know, eh? I'm begging you, try to understand. Jude, to prove to you that I is with a clear mind, eh? I will give you three months free rentage to live eh? while you look for a house as well. Uh, that's fair enough. Rubbish is stuck in here. Ha, can you see that? Papa. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. You know Are you hearing me? Don't put this to mind at all. She's just joking, except she's no longer my daughter. A boy that suffered and suffered for us. Never. Adama, that evil spirit will not succeed. Mba no no. Jude, go back to your business. You must marry her. No, I want. This is exactly what they say. That too much education is madness. Look at this now. Just look at this. And this is exactly that she has followed the footsteps of the mother, Adam Ne. No, I am bad on Adam Ne, go Adam Ne. Nonsense. Papa, Adam Ne. Adam Ne. Education is a basic thing to a child. It's a basic gift to any child. But when it is too much, it becomes madness. And that's what we are talking about here now. Adam, I have a problem. You are a moron. A very big moron. Are you new in Lagos to know that they are fraudulent land agents? You carry a whole 450,000 naira and give to some lazy fools? Anyway, they are not the fools. You are the fool. And the fool you remain. Since you cannot investigate before paying. You shut up your mouth. Investigate what? Now what have you come here to do? What do you expect me to do now? I told you. 
I told you is the way you lay your bed. That is how you rely on it. Now get out. Sir. Get out. Yes, sir. I said get out here before I lose my temper more. for you. Uh -huh. That's good. Uh -huh. The good news is that uh, my son called yesterday and I told him uh, that you are one of my best tenants. Thank you. So after everything, he agreed to allow you stay. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. Eh? Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. Uh, however, there's a little problem. Uh -huh. He agreed on one condition. Okay. You see? He said that if he should look for apartment elsewhere, that it's going to be a self-contained apartment, you see? And I don't have the money for that. So I told him, uh, I will tell you, if you can uh, uh, bring a uh, three years advance, uh, so that he can use it in a uh, securing apartment of uh, his choice. But I know, I know, three years is too much now. The choice is yours. It's said that three years. Or you pack out. No, Ogala no. Okay. Um, let me buy there for two years. Two years. Two years um, that is uh, sixty thousand uh, mm, yes. No. It is said that three years. Or you pack out. I did I say we do this thing. What happened? You say, eh? I need that money. No, just, not touch me. Uh, just complain. Just complain. Yeah. Because my guy is just hanging around. Just complain with that. Yeah. So just give me the money. <laughs> so after you have a wicked letter, eh? We will see letter. We will do this thing.
She's my mother. This is your mom? Yes. Uh-uh. That's nice. <laughs> Mommy, as a mother of fact, I am very delighted to meet the woman who nurtured the most beautiful woman on earth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my son. You're welcome. Thank you. And uh, Mommy, uh, he's Lobito. A friend of mine for now. Oh, well. I agree, a friend for now. But I tell you, Mommy, I will be more than a friend very soon. <laughs> <laughs> A friend with good intention, of course. You are welcome, my son. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. My son, come and have some. Oh, yeah, mommy, don't worry. Mm -hmm. uh, don't worry. No, mommy. I'm in a hurry. I, I have a place to go. Hmm? But I promise you, on Sunday, I will come to the house to eat mommy's rice. <laughs> <laughs> and I will give you a double delight. That would be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see. Um, just help me manage this, yeah? This is 50,000 Naira, just to help your, boost your shop. 50,000 Naira? Yes, yeah. Um, uh, I, I, thank you very much, thank you. Uh, is this not too much? Uh, Mama, I'll help you with this. Thing. Thank you. Okay, I'll see you. All right, all right. Bye-bye. Thank you, my son. Okay, Mama. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Did you get this kind of boy? You know, I just met him. I met him in Burundi where I'm serving. Just like that. 50,000. Mommy, I'll help you. I need this one. Mommy, don't want to see. Let me keep it. Hey, Mama, you know. Mama, no. Let me keep it. What do you get about me? Madam, what do you mean? God, you are so good to me. I'm actually. You just can't talk. Adam, okay. Adam, okay. What are you doing here? Huh? What are you doing here? I, I want what is that under your arm? Sir, it's a video machine. What are you doing with it? Customer is waiting for me in the shop. Let me supply. You're a fool! Scallywag! A fool! You are a disgrace to me. You are a disgrace to your parents. In short, you are a disgrace to the entire humanity. Look at a boy who was settled a month ago with half a million naira, running around scouting. To fear, Kwagi! Nonsense! Now let me warn you. I don't want to ever see you anywhere around this shop again! Do you understand me? Nonsense! And you, Chinedu? Okay. And okay? okay? If I ever see any of you associated with him, that day you will regret your life. Sorry, sir, sorry, sir. Now come again out here before I pounce on you. No sense. It's boys like you, they, if they see you, they say he's your guy, uh, he's your guy shooting for ritual. But it's your foolishness that has done ritual with you. Don't let me see you again in this shop or around here anywhere. Scallywag. Buffoon. Get out of it. Me? My own concern is whether you have told him that you are no longer marrying him. There was never a time we agreed to get us married. He merely assumed. Hey! Stop that! I said stop that! He merely assumed! But you encouraged him to merely assume? Uh, is that not right? Adam, I think you should go to him and let him know your present stand that you are no longer. Shut up, woman! Is it because they gave you 50,000 and you shamelessly accepted it? Uh-uh. Why won't I accept it? Aha! Uh -huh. Why won't I? Why? Why would you accept it? That is why you are supporting your daughter to discard and throw away a boy who has toiled for one, two, three, four, five solid years. Five solid years! And without that boy, you wouldn't have gone to school. To be seen by anybody, talk less of that idiot knowing you. 
women. Women, you are all very heartless and wicked. Enough, Papa! Enough! Ah! For every penny he spent on me, I toyed for it! If I had not opened my left for him, he would have died by now. Do you know how many times I moaned, groaned, and sweated under his muscles for him to give me the money that saved your life? I gave him something priceless and valuable. What is priceless and valuable you gave him? I want to know. Now tell me your reason for refusing to marry this boy. Because this is what I want to know now. Not this one, you are, you're making my ta 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 like a typewriter with disjointed keys. Fine, these are my reasons. Yes. Reason one, I never promised him marriage. Reason two, he's very poor and stuck illiterate. I can never marry an illiterate papa. Reason three, he's below my class and social status. And I can go on and go on and on and I'll pick him up mount. Now he's below your class and social status. If not his money, where would you have been? How would you have gotten to that social status? And was it not his money that raised your so-called class? Oh my God, Adama, 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 how many times have I called you? You have to look very well so that you don't bring down ruin upon your head. Because if that boy kneels down and cries to God, hell will be let loose. And the God's rot will descend on you. Papa, enough of that. Enough of that. I say enough of what? Why don't you not Stop it. Papa. Yes. If he cries to God, I will equally cry to God. Because he gave me his money, I gave him my body. That's right. That's right. That's right. Like daughter, like mother. You know what that mother is shameless. You know that it. I don't. Yes. Yes. I'm all here. Why would I accept the money? Why would I? Give me $50,000 from your pocket. Give me $50,000 from your pocket. I don't know how you, but I will not take a shameful money. I've told you. You can't take a shameful money. You can't take a shameful money. Dirty daughter. I'm all here. Stupid things. Idiot. Nonsense. Our God is a God of riches and prosperity. Give it to us in His Word, Philippians 4 19. That my God shall supply you all your needs according to His riches and glory in Christ Jesus. All you need now is to go closer to God by fasting and prayers. I'll give you the scriptures to eat you during your fasting for 21 days. You read it seriously, Psalm. 84 verse 11, Psalm 75 verse 6, and 2 Timothy 4 18. To eat you during your fasting program, the Lord will strengthen you. Remember, it's 21 days. Let's pray. And God will strengthen you and encourage you the Lord. Father, we bless your name once more, for your word is here and amen. Follow your Son, Lord. Holy Spirit, divine, direct and guide him. And glorify your name again. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Yes, sir. Okay, man, Jen. Yeah, okay. I'm leaving. Okay. I see you leaving. Okay. Okay. I'll try to observe the fast and praying as the pastor instructed. Okay. I tell you, soon and very soon, everything will be all right. You know, my Bible says that a righteous man falls seven times and he rises seven times. But the wicked is overtaken by reproach. Remember, the downfall of a man is not the end of his life. Yes. Hmm? Yes. Just do according to Pastor Stan, all right? Thank you. Soon and very soon, everything will be okay. Okay. See you in the evening. Okay. Me. Fast. Impossible. Huh? This man, the man and the last. This is my other people who have money. Eh? Did they do this kind of fasting? Not even the doctor. I do three days fast. Three weeks. 21 days. I cannot do it all. Uh -uh. How can a fellow man telling me to kill myself indirectly? No.
How are you? I'm fine. Do you know where Jude is? He no longer lives here. Landlord drew him out since. And do you know where he stays now? Yes, Auntie, I know. I'm not there yet, unless you give us money. Is that so? Yes, Auntie. Nothing goes for nothing. This world is give and take. And how much do you want me to give you? Auntie, no, no, I still need money. You do. No, no. All right. I'll give you this money and you promise me you tell me just whereabouts. Yes, What do you want me to do? Um, can we talk here? Talk about waiting. <laughs> Nothing much. It's just that um, I want to thank you for the little help you rendered to me in the past. And I'm sure God would definitely reward you. And I also pray to God to give you somebody of your own to help you. Just the way he brought you in my life to help you. Have you finished? Can I ask you a question? Oh, uh, feel free. Can you tell me exactly what I have done to you? In what ways did I offend you? Uh, who says you've offended me? Oh, for God's sake, you did nothing to me. I tell people that. Come on, you did nothing. Then what's the problem? Nothing is the problem. It's just... Um, <clears throat> It's just status. <clears throat> Our status are no longer at par. Ah, uh, status quo is no longer apart. When I was give you all the money to pay for your university, our status quo was apart. Remember God, though? You see, my dear Jude, such is life. I'm sorry, it's a reality, you know, the ups and downs, the losing some and the winning some. Oh, let's not forget. Yeah. This is my wedding card, and you are highly invited. Well, I hope you don't mind. Oh, please, you are invited. Okay? Thank you. Bye. This life, this life. I love it talk with you now they see for this life This life This life I love it talk with you now they see for this life This life As you de patch em You go de lick You say make you manage em The sofa go de tick Where you won't run Where you won't go Everybody, even your baby, they play you while yo. This life, this life, I love it to put in a see for this life. This life, this life, I love it to put in a see for this life. This life, this life, I love it to put in a see for this life. This life. Why are you hurrying? Are you not 
God forbid that I hope you should not attend the traditional marriage that was made possible by the usual people. But what do you mean? Are you the only person in America who did not know that master? How she stopped and stopped one boy who trained her in the university? And when the boy became a poor boy, she left you. And you Juju to track down this current young woman who is a mountain lady. Didn't you hear it? <laughs> so you live in America here? And also live in Lagos. Where did you get out of this? See down there. The world is now a global village. The information network help us to hear things. For your eyes now I think it was in my mind. I don't wish to hear. I heard there is plenty to eat. So if you want to come, if you don't want to come. Be careful. Be careful not to eat the one that we poured you for me. See that we eat the one that we poured you for me. Because of more they love the more.
Adam Gaines. Nemesis is gonna catch up with you one day 